Hi. Welcome to the world of Nadi Astrology. My name is Dr. N. Srinivasan Shastri. I had missed you all for a few days because of my health problems. Because as a teacher or as a giver, I feel more than people who receive it. Because what I intended to do is I have to give it to you all as soon as possible so that you people will not lose the hold on the subject. If at all I drop for a few months, again, you will start from the beginning. This is the main drawback with astrology. You have to put it into use continuously. Okay, anyhow, today I am back again, right? <clears throat> I was telling you all about the know-how of different planets. We had completed up till Jupiter in my last video. Today, we are going to take up Venus. Okay? Venus. Yeah, before that, I want to tell you why I have written in this format. Usually, I used to come up with <coughs> two charts and try to explain on the charts. But after observing some comments, I thought that was making people a little confused. So, this was a better idea. If at all I write the combinations and then later on I explain it to you all. Maybe you can write down the combinations or you can just look back again after receiving the combinations significance. Okay. So, it will be handy for you all also. So, that's why I thought this is one. Moreover, Venus is not a simple subject. There is one more part in Venus. This is first part. Of course, I am going to complete even the second part. Okay. What is the first part and what is the second part? First part tells about the significations of Venus. What are all the significations and how we are going to use those significations in different combinations or in accordance to different situations. Okay. This is one point. Second point, part two comes <clears throat> to know about a marriage. That is part two. You can know the age of the marriage of a person instead of going all through the Dasha Bhuktis. Just by the glance of the Venus in a male chart or of the planet Mars in a female chart, the difference between Jupiter and the Venus or the difference between Jupiter and the Mars, we can know exactly at the, at the age, at which age the native is going to get married. That is one point in part two. Second thing, Venus also tells us about the financial stabilities or about finance. The main significations of Venus is finance also. So, you can know when a native will be financially sound or when he is going to put his hand on finances or development financially. These things can be known again from Jupiter and the uh, distance between Jupiter and Venus, not Mars, only Venus, financial development I am talking. Second thing, in addition to these, you can know one more thing. If at all, a man, the native, in a male chart, if he is going to marry a female, okay? If at all that lady is employed, how to trace out what kind of an employment it will be? Okay? So many people like to get married. Employed women or business women, they have to have a second source of earning. So in those cases, we can trace out which is the exact or suitable sources of income for the lady who is going to come into his life, or what will be the source of income for the lady if she is already in a job who is going to come into the native's life for a male child. Then one more thing is there in part two. The best thing is after marriage, what is going to happen? Because there are certain cases, immediately after marriage, you can see problems. Some problems like court problems, some problems like domestic. Okay? And there are certain cases where after marriage only good things are going to happen. 
what is the secret behind this and where you can trace out that that also you can know in part 2 only today i am going to do that so this is not an easy planet it is a planet which gives us in abundance and in detail that's why i have concentrated on these things in depth so what little i know that i am going to put it in front of you so that even a lame man or even a learner of astrology if if he sees the position of the venus he will know exactly when the financial stability will be there in his life and if he sees the distance between jupiter and venus he can know when he is going to get into a wedlock marriage fine so these are the things what i wanted to give it to you that i am stressing on the other things other significations of venus i have told you earlier about medicine about travels about vehicles here what is connected with the native and how far it is in conjunction with the other planet only that, only that part i'll be picking okay right first now we will begin with the venus so the first point venus is well placed or in exaltation when venus is well placed in a natal chart when venus is in exaltation in a natal chart male or female it will give them a happy life because venus gives us money venus gives us luxuries venus gives us health free life how i will let you know later but this we are not going to touch that today i'll tell you later but venus is a giver venus gives all the good things only and wherever venus is there you will find a happy life so venus exalted or well placed venus will tell us that the native male or female is going to have a happy life one thing second thing venus in tabulation or ill placed when venus is ill placed or in tabulation you can easily say that the life of that native male or female will be a little unhappy why i am saying a little because other combinations benefits will be showered on the native so here part of it will be taking away by the venus so unhappy part of life will be seen in tabulation okay second thing is the same venus in exaltation tells us if at all the native has a sister she will be shining very well in her life because venus is nothing but a sister okay and if the same venus is in tabulation in placed the native sister male or female native the native sister will be facing problems will be having problems in her life this is one thing right now let's go to venus again venus no matter wherever it is placed just like i was saying earlier the location of the native's house when you find jupiter okay in between the planets or what all the planets in the preceding and succeeding house that tells us about the location of the house of the native likewise in a male chart it's venus i have to take up mars also because we have what male and female charts to look into now venus in the male chart that placement of venus tells us about the location of the wife's house okay how if there is sun in the preceding or succeeding houses there is a temple besides the wife's house if there is ketu either in the preceding or succeeding houses the wife will come from a house which is at the dead end of the road and if at all there is um, mars or uh, saturn or rahu mars saturn or rahu besides especially rahu besides the venus preceding in the preceding or succeeding houses of venus you can know there was a old construction 
besides the house of the wife or besides the wife's house and that old construction will be either cracked half built broken something like that okay so these are the things we can trace it out about venus the location of the house if the same venus is nearby aquarius in pisces or aquarius there is a watery place besides the house of the so these things earlier also i have told you just a little repetition okay so we use venus to know the location of the house of the wife in a male chart for a female chart for a female chart we take mars into consideration i am using it in addition to that that's all it is nowhere connected with the venus but still i am using mars now to to just show you all that about a females chart what you have to do mars mars is the husband so just like venus when mars is having preceding or succeeding sun besides temple jupiter besides the school venus besides the restaurant or besides a atm or a bank or a hospital what all the venus is going to give us that we are going to place it besides the house of the husband that's how we are going to know the location of the house just to know what type of a man is going to come into the girl's life or to know exactly this is the man who is going to come into the girl's life this is the proposal because marriage is are made in heaven so everything is in the destiny in the destiny of the girl's chart or in the destiny of the boy's chart when there is that indication of that location 100% i am sure the boy or the girl for that native will be coming from such a location it is 100% sure instead of going around everywhere searching for proposals the nearest you are just trying to filter it to the nearest point where it tallies exactly with the date of birth of the native male or female native and then that is the proposal you are going to concentrate on and that is the one which tallies okay don't say it does not tally it will definitely tally when this is the combination is available even the nakshatras also will tally you check it for yourself you will know about that okay fine this is about the location venus or mars in a male chart venus in a female chart mars so this is one point next we'll go to jupiter having venus in the next house this is one sign or rasi in the next rasi venus is there that means this is if this is a male chart in a male chart when jupiter is having venus in the second house jupiter is having venus in the second house in a male chart it means that the native the male will be becoming prosperous after marriage as i told you earlier venus is the luck venus is the money venus is the luxury venus is the enjoyment so when this venus is there in the second house jupiter second house is nothing but the kutumbasthana for the native the jupiter so this venus will bring all the prosperity for that native clear in case if it is a female chart yes even if it is a female chart jupiter same jupiter venus now we don't take venus as a wife venus we can take for two things sister and also luxuries so even here in this uh, having this planetary positions with venus in the second house from jupiter in a female chart she will also become prosperous after marriage in addition to that she will be against traditional values against traditional values this is the only one extra point we have okay you check it you will know about that 
Next, Jupiter and Venus together. Yes, this is one of the best combinations. Wherever you find a material, whether it is a male chart or a female chart, Jupiter and Venus together, they will give you, they will give you almost all the luck to the native, male or female. Okay. This combination Jupiter and Venus, it makes the native good looking, it makes the native prosperous, it makes the native have a good life. It makes the native, if it is a male chart, in a male chart, Venus and Jupiter combination gives him uh, a cordial relationship between the wife and him. This is one point. Second point, Venus and Jupiter together. You can say that the both husband and wife may belong to the same town. If it is a male chart, with this combination of Jupiter and Venus, you can clearly say that the husband and wife or he is going to get a, get a girl from the same town. Okay. Next, if at all the same combination Jupiter and Venus are in Cancer, the Cancer is the sign of Rasi, Karkataka. The Rasi for exaltation for, I mean, it's an exalted place for Jupiter. When Jupiter in a male chart, I'm talking about a male chart now. In a male chart, when, can, when Jupiter is there with Venus in Cancer, in a male chart, again I'm repeating, he will have a very good wife, very good looking wife. Noted for that, this particular point is Pakka. Sure, 100%. Very good looking wife, this is one point. Prosperous and a happy life, this is the second point. Now next we will go to both the charts, male and female chart. In that case, if you take this into consideration, the female and the male, <coughs> excuse me, they will be having uh, a prosperous life, but for a lady, I have told you earlier, Jupiter, if the Jupiter, the native is a lady, she will have to face lot of humiliations, problems from others, unnecessary blames, okay? Always, hey, she will be having a troubled mentality. Happiness is different. She will have everything on hand, but satisfaction part of it will be broken by others, not by herself. This is Venus. And in a male chart, the same combination, if you take wife as wife into consideration, Venus, wife, wife will be a public personality and she will be a popular personality, pious personality. This is combination about Jupiter and Venus in Cancer. There is one more thing. I am giving you the best combinations now. Of course, we'll have the other ones also. I will come to it. Jupiter and Venus, if they have got Parivartana Yoga, Jupiter staying in Venus's house, Venus staying in Jupiter's house. This is called as Parivartana Yoga between Jupiter and Venus. These are the horoscopes. The horoscopes, male or female, any chart pertaining to male or female, if they have got this Parvartana Yoga, these are the lucky set of people. They are lucky. Because in both the places, whenever transiting Jupiter comes, when it sees the both the houses, at both the places, in both the corners, he will be getting financial benefits and you will be seeing happiness part of it. That's why we call these people are lucky. Parvartana Yoga are lucky set of people. Clear? And now comes the Minus points also. If Jupiter has Venus in a male chart, Venus is the wife, Jupiter is the native. If Jupiter has Venus in the sixth house from Jupiter in a male chart or in the twelfth house from Jupiter in a male chart 
or even in the eight towns from Jupiter. These are the places which give trouble between which gives trouble between the husband and wife. Unhappy marital life. I'll repeat once again. In a male chart, when there is Venus in the sixth house or the twelfth house from Jupiter, sixth house from Jupiter, twelfth house from Jupiter, and also eighth house from Jupiter. Eighth house is called as Sestastical. From Jupiter it is the sixth house. Uh, from Jupiter it is the eighth house, Venus. From Venus it is the sixth house, Jupiter. So Sestastium, they will be quarreling always. So 6, 12 and 8. These three places, if from Jupiter, if Venus is placed in a male chart, they will be having an happy marital life. This is over. At the same time, in a female chart, if Mars is placed in the 6th house, in the 8th house, in the 12th house from Jupiter, for a female chart, an happy marital life. Because Mars is the husband, they'll be calling a lot. Clear? Okay. Of course, when I am seeing, whenever I say that quarreling or problems, unhappiness, kindly go through the other combinations aspect also. I'm sorry, other planets aspect also. Don't go on one planet conjunction or aspect. Kindly see there are other planets available, benefic planets. You take into consideration that which will neutralize the issue to major extent. Clear? Yeah? So this is about an happy part of it. Again, an happiness comes in another way also. When Jupiter's second house lord, I am not talking about Venus. Now I am taking as Jupiter's second house. Second house, Venus, or all these things are family. Second is this Kutumbasthana. Venus is also finance. Venus is also Kutumbasthana. Second house is also finance about Dhanasthana and Kutumbasthana. So, when the second house lord, when Jupiter's second house lord, in both the charts, male chart or a female chart, when the Jupiter's second house lord is placed in the third, an happy marital life. So, even when the second house lord is the third house. You will have unhappy marital life. This is one thing. And now, some peculiar competitions or placements. You note this. Jupiter and Venus together. In a male chart I am talking. I don't want to talk about female chart. Jupiter and Venus together in a male chart. If at all, they have Venus in the second house. Jupiter and Venus in, in a sign, in a Rasi, in a male chart, having Mercury in the second sign. For a male chart, it's, it clearly tells us a lot of affairs. <laughs> yeah, you can check into it. What I have learnt, I have taught you. Clear? So this is one part. Of course, this is not part two. Same, continuation. Now, one more beautiful combination is if Venus, when we take Venus for finances, Venus for money, Venus for enjoyments, Venus for luck, Jupiter's fourth house. If Venus is placed in the fourth house from Jupiter, that native will be lucky without any malefic aspect or malefic planet placed in between Jupiter and Venus. He is a lucky man. He will be having funds. He will be good. He will be leading a happy life. When in a male or a female chart, when Jupiter's fourth house is aspected by Venus, you can clearly say the native is a lover of arts, fine arts. This one thing is there. Okay. So rich life, law of finance is okay. Now, one more point for the male. Venus and Rahu together in a male chart. Secret affairs. Okay. Venus and Rahu 
in a male chart, Venus and Rahu together in a Rasi or Sai, in a male chart, tells us about the secret affairs of the native, the chances of the native having secret affairs, chances. Don't ask me or pressurize me. Why not? It is not happening in my case. I don't know. Next. This is one more plus point. Venus in Aries or Scorpio. The Mars houses. Aries or Scorpio. If at all, Venus is in Aries or Scorpio. In middle of male or female chart. The native will be good looking, easily getting attracted to other people, opposite sex. If it is a male, opposite sex will get easily attracted. If it is a female, opposite sex will get easily attracted. But this combination, this placement of Venus either in Aries or Scorpio, you can tell that the native, male or female, is going to marry a known person. This is one beauty of that. Aries and Scorpio. Mars, known person. Now, certain times we have, when we take Venus for a woman, we can use that Venus with, for one more, uh, for one more, what do you call it? Knowing uh, another thing. I'll tell you what it is. Second house is always the Kutumasthana. If you take from Jupiter, if you take from Sun, it is Kudumasthana of the from Sun, it is the Kudumasthana of the Father. From Jupiter, it is the Kudumasthana of the native. Likewise, when you got Sun in a Rasi or a sign, and immediately after that, in the next sign, if you got Venus, and after that, if Moon comes into picture, please listen to this carefully. Sun in one Rasi, having Venus in the Kutumbasthana and immediately after that Moon, for the Sun there are two Venus or one Venus and one Moon, two female planets after the Sun, after the Sun's placement. This means the native is the child of the second wife of the father. The native who is having this combination, he is the child of the second wife of the father. This is 100% true. I have tallied so many charts. Because first Kutumasthana is Venus, second Kutumasthana is Moon. For a native, Sun is the father, Moon is the mother. But between Sun and Moon there is one lady there. That means the father would have had married one more woman and after that he married the mother of the native. So the native will be the son or the child of the second wife, male or female child. Don't mistake me, it's not only son, the native child. The native is the second uh, wife's child. Then, this is about female charts. In a female chart, Venus and Ketu together. In a female chart, when you find Venus and Ketu together in a Rasi or a sign, you can tell them that they will be having constipation and later on it will be turning into piles. Or because Venus and Saturn, uh, I'm sorry, Venus and Ketu are in one Rasi, there are chances of these people, even if Ketu is here or even if Ketu follows Venus, you can easily say they will be having vaginal problems, problems pertaining to the sexual organ. This is very important. Because why I call it is important is, if at all you try to tell the people what is unknown to them, what you can trace out, beautifully and place in front of them what only doctors can do then they will be astonished your subject of astrology will give you the fruits that's why we have to go in depth 
not casually telling them about luck about bad luck no the secrets that which is hidden if you bring them out you are a master of the technique so venus and moon ah this is one more combination okay now i am catching hold of only venus and sometimes here and there other planets now venus and moon combination i think i have told you earlier also again i will repeat in material of the chart male or female chart when there is a combination of venus and moon together the native he or she may get into addictions it may be drinking it may be smoking it may be anything this is bound to happen next this is beautiful thing you have to notice in every child female child's chart please there are so many incidences a child getting raped a child getting harassment done by the senior most citizens or even the youngsters who are they why they become victims to these things have anybody notice about that who are the people who will become victims for these things harassment from the seniors senior citizens immaterial of the age difference i'm talking about the female chart only please note this female chart and if the chart uh, if the girl is young in age for them it is a caution you have to tell to their parents if this is the combination you find in their charts please warn the parents to take care of the child without the knowledge of the child the no child will not have much knowledge about anything but still something attracts uh, senior citizens or um, bad element people towards them harassment rape these things possibilities don't take it from me that it is going to happen chances you are dragging this set of combination will drag people into that situation it may be escaped with the benefic effect uh, aspect that i am not telling but if you find this combination please try to warn the children uh, parents of the children mars first thing mars saturn in the next rasi when mars and saturn follow venus for example i'll tell you it's like this mars here venus here mars here saturn here venus this in middle of that mars saturn following venus definitely they will be harassed by senior citizens or um uh, worst type of people children teenagers that they have to take care of course there are certain set of people only who get affected but as a word of caution i am trying to teach this particular thing which i have seen in ample number of cases i have asked they have been affected in their early stages but they escaped that's a different thing but a word of caution will be will be very good for them it will come in handy so they can take care of their kids at what age i will let you know okay so this is very very important once again i'll repeat in a female chart in a young girl's chart if you find mars following saturn again saturn following saturn and mars following venus the child will be harassed and she will be prone to harassment by the senior citizens or by the teenagers this one thing is there in middle of age differences they will do that okay kindly note this one particular point okay this is about the major few points about venus there is one more thing all the while i was talking about marriage 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 yes there are certain situations where marriages are denied or marriages are delayed 
this is also for us to learn because just blindly telling them this will be the age you are going to get married and this will be the age you are going to live together <laughs> no there are certain planetary aspects where it will tell you that there will be no marriages okay first we will take about the daily yeah when in a male chart jupiter's second house in a male chart jupiter in a male and a female chart jupiter's second house is aspected by saturn marriage is delayed in a male chart when venus is in conjunction with saturn or aspecting saturn marriage is delayed whereas in case of a female chart when jupiter uh, when mars is aspected by saturn when mars is having is in conjunction with saturn marriage is delayed clear this is one thing next when jupiter second house and fourth house from jupiter the second house second house and the fourth house are having malefics marriages are denied it is called as sanyas yoga a metal whether it is a male chart or a female chart again i'll repeat jupiter's second house and jupiter's fourth house are placed with malefics marriages are denied in case in certain cases when jupiter's second house if you go if you have got ketu there will be problems so now we are going to take up the second part regarding venus what all we can know with venus okay one the age of marriage with venus for a male native chart um for a female natal chart we can take mars into consideration know the age of marriage okay next financial developments and the other one is about if at all a wife is employed what type of employed she would be in okay first we will take about venus and the second house lot so i think we have done a good job here i feel it now i will give it to you for your decisions how i be would have felt in having a new subject with a new dimension i leave the rest to you all what i had in my mind i gave it to you all now it is your job to receive it fine so first we will try to do about the job when in a male chart when in a male chart if at all you have sun in the second house from venus for a male chart venus is the wife kutumba i mean dana sthanam is sun so the wife's income or source of income will be pertaining to the sun what is it it may be a government job it may be something pertaining to medicines these are the things okay if at all moon is there after venus moon is there in a male chart we can tell that it is hotel and restaurants coffee day etc etc these types of things okay if at all you find mars she will learn through skills or government employment here for mercury the lady will have business for her source of income after venus if you find jupiter you get it she is a teacher hr faculty so these are the types of jobs when venus has in the second house jupiter
Okay. And uh, how much word? Rahu. Sorry. If you have got Rahu, it will be about photography or media. If it is Ketu, electronics or chemicals or NGOs, non profitable organizations, okay, government organizations. So, this is about the income part of the wife for a male job. Same thing when you're going to jump this here, Mars. So, where exactly you are going to look into this? Where you are going to look into this? You are going to look this into All these things you have to look it. To know about the wife or the husband of the native, we will look into the natal chart. Just to know beforehand, before getting married or beforehand, what will be the profession, profession of the wife or the husband? Just to get or just to filter proposals which are coming on hand to one particular point where it will be easy for us to decide. That's the reason I am giving you all this. Okay. So, in a natal chart, female natal chart, if Mars is there, same, Sun government, Moon, hotel and restaurants, Mars, ah, Moon, here the police department also will join. Moon, Mars, skills or government employment or land development. Mercury, business, law. Jupiter, teacher, HR, faculty, Rahu, photography, media, Ketu, electronics, chemicals and NGOs. This is the type of professions the husband will have. Mars second house, Mars Dhanasthana. In that if you find these planets or these planets aspecting the second house of Mars, these planets aspecting the second house of Venus, will give you this result. This is one part. Now we will go to There is one more thing we have to know about marriages. All the marriages will not have an happy ending. Soon after marriage, there may be problems, there may be happy moments, there may be troubles. What type of troubles, when what planet sits, what is the type of trouble is going to give us? Immediately, whether it is a male or a female chart. Yes, sir. For example, this is a chart. Okay. This is the chart. Right? If you got Jupiter, if you got Jupiter here and uh, Venus here. Okay. In between, if you got Mercury or Mercury and Sun. We will take this away because we want to know what will be the result after marriage. This is a male chart. So Venus is the wife, Jupiter is the native. After marriage, who is there? Sun is there, Mercury is there. So you can easily say after marriage, there is a lot of developments and after that, a little bit of troubles. Okay, but when sun comes first, he will not create any more troubles. Vice versa, if at all Mercury is there or Saturn is there and then Mercury is here or sun is there. As soon as the marriage to this native, after the marriage, after Venus coming into existence, he, he has to face the problems, Saturn is there. At the same time, sun is also there. He has to face good things. And then, Mercury, peace. So this is how we are going to notice it. What are the malefic planets? Anyway, after Venus, 
So after the entry of Venus, the whole thing starts. Marriage is nothing but Venus. When Venus is there, what are the planets it's going to hold here? For example, if there is Ketu. So after marriage, within that year, you will find Ketu. There may be a death in the family. Not only the immediate family, somewhere in some corner. So the planets after Venus, after the Jupiter touching the Venus, the planets tell us what type of a problem will be there according to the planets. Okay? Sun, good things will happen. Mercury, law, court, diverse. After Venus, if Mercury is there, before Sun. And then Rahu, Saturn, lot of troubles in the family, loss in the family, financial loss, tensions in the family. Ketu, death in the family. Mars, surgery or a miscarriage will may take place. So these are the types of things what we have given earlier to the, the significations each planet had. That significations we try to put it here after marriage, after the entry of the Venus in a male chart. The same thing happens if a, for a female chart. Mars. So as soon as you see, so, so many people ask us, how far the marriage life will be there? We try to tally all the nakshastras and said they'll be having a happy married life because 18 kutas, I mean 18 gunas have come or 36 gunas have come, fine. How many people are living happily? Very few. Why? Because the destiny tells that after the marriage, after the entry of the wife, what is going to happen? After the entry of the husband, what is going to happen in their life? So where else you can go and tally and get the brightest thing for their life? Everything is in the destiny. Lucky are the people who have got very good placements. Lucky are the people who have got very good, very good benefit planets aspect on the second and third house from Venus or Mars. This is one point I wanted to tell you. I think I made it clear. Any doubts? Of course, as usual, I'll be ready to reply in comments. Now, finally, <clears throat> this is the best part. What now? I am going to come to two things. I am going to give you all. When a man is going to financially developed, male or female chart, when a person is going to get married at what age? These two things I will tell you and I will end my session here. So for example, this is a chart. How to calculate this? I will tell you. In case of a male chart, you take Venus. In case of a female chart, you take Mars. The placement of Mars and Jupiter. The difference between Jupiter and Mars, the difference between for a male, I'll write it down here. You take Venus into consideration for a female. You take Mars into consideration. So, when you take, when you take Mars into consideration, When you read the female chart, you take mass into consideration. When you take a male chart, you take female into uh, Venus into consideration. Yes. When Jupiter is here, this is an example. I'm not uh, concentrating on any one particular chart. If at all Venus is there, okay. When usually the marriage takes place, or when the Jupiter. In which round he gives you the wife or the husband? Second round of Jupiter. Because first round completely it is for the child, the kid, till he grows to the, the kid, he or she, till, he, till the child grows to 12 years, the first round. Second round, Dhanasthanam, Kutambasthanam, Vakasthanam, all these things pertain to the second round. If at all the native male or female has to get into a wedlock, it has to look into the second round or you have to search for the second round. That is after 12 years. Okay. Of course, you can look into the third round when second house lord is there in the third round, in the third house. Then only you can look. That's why delayed marriage. Fine. Now, when this is the position, 
when venus is here 1 to 12 this is over first round this is 12 to 24 now what are you going to say what age would be the marriage age for a male this is male exactly between the 12 to 24 till 24 it is over when this is 24 this will be the 25 the male will get married at the age of 25 and in case if venus is placed in the third house same rule 24 25 26 26 is the marriage age. Four thousand. 24, 25, 26, 27. You can say 27 dash 28 like this. In between these years, because Jupiter does not go from one Rasi to another Rasi exactly on January first. in between by october by july by september so you can just utilize this both the years 27 28 in between clear likewise when venus is in the fifth house 24 25 26 and 28 i hope now you have caught the point the year of marriage difference between jupiter and venus after the first round or after the second round you have to give it venus nearer to jupiter you give it 12 to 24 further to the jupiter you will give it from 24 to 36 period okay now fifth 24 25 26 27 28 6 sixth this is the place where it will take its own sweet time i told you 6 8 12 20 so 24 25 26 okay at the same time if you have got venus here when will the marriage take place 12 13 14 15 ah when i say marriage astrology is the oldest subject at that time there was no affairs people used to get married first and then they used to have sexual intercourse but nowadays things have modernized or people have become very modernized dating etc etc these things have come into existence so when we are trying to do astrology which is the oldest subject in comparison to the latest life you have to say only one thing there is a chances of a union you cannot notify it as a marriage for example the early stages also at the age of 20 also these people will get into a affair so it is not it is not marriage actually but still affair would have taken place there and next again it will be here So this is twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, ah, uh, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. At the age of twenty five, uh, twenty six, when Venus aspects or when Jupiter aspects that Venus, that male is going to get married. I said the last word. So when he touches the Venus in the second round, or when he aspects the Venus in the second round, the marriage is going to take place. for a natal chart and the native is a female for them mars whenever jupiter in the second round after jupiter from 24 to 36 before jupiter from 12 to 24 <coughs> excuse me Clear? So this is about the marriage part of it. I think I am clear. Let us see. Next financial developments. There also we are going to use the 
second house. But for finance, we are using only Venus, immaterial of charge, male chart or a female chart. So this is the chart. When a person is going to have financial developments, this is Jupiter. Uh, we will put the Venus accordingly. When a person is going to have financial developments, the second house tells us about Vakasthana, Dharasthana, Kutavasthana. Even in the first round from 1 to 12, when Jupiter touches Venus, it will give him not finance directly, purchasing luxurious things, a bicycle or something from the father. When his money is going to come into picture or her money is going to come into picture, her money is her dhanasthana. Okay? So, this 12 to 24 is the period when you consider for financial developments, finance from others, finance from yourself. Okay. If at all. Okay, let's do it like this. Venus. Now immaterial, whether it is a male or a female chart. Venus is second house from Jupiter. What all the years the person is going to enjoy financially? 12, 13, 14 or 12, 13. For people, for any native, male or female, having Venus in the second house from Jupiter will enjoy money at the 13th. Then, um, the 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 90, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 36. Because that period is over. So these are the years. Okay. If at all, Venus is there. In the third house from Jupiter, male or a female chart, 12, 13, 14. 14 is the year, 20 is the year, 26 is the year, 32 is the year. I hope you can get it. Whatever you do, you do within the third, within the third period. Because third period again loss making place. It will give you, it will show you the same Venus at that time will indicate loss. The same Venus in the second row will give you gain. I will, I, will, I will let you know about that when I do the rounds of Jupiter. It's a beautiful thing. That's the last one. So right now we are touching only Venus. So what all Venus does? Venus. It gives you a vehicle. It gives you. Now right now I am doing only the financial. When I continue with the transiting effects, uh, transiting Jupiter and the natal planets, then I will give you in detail. Right now the financial. So Jupiter's third, third house from 12, 13, 14, and then wherever it is aspecting the, the Jupiter will be coming here and aspecting at that age. So these are the ages you have to note, not for the third round, only till the second round. And the same time, Venus is here. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Same. It carries on. Hope you have understood. Fine. I think I will end my beautiful session. This is what I think. It's a very good session. So, till I meet you next time with Saturn. Okay. I think you can have a good food. You try to analyze yourselves with number of horoscopes. You will know about that. And if at all you are getting any doubt on this, kindly put it on comments. Don't ask about your future in comments. Ask about the subject. I will be happy to give you. Because if I go on telling you all about your future, about your symbol one combination, so many people, they are just in the basic line, but still they will be posing questions and it will be hard for me to answer those questions. Okay. So till I meet you next time, I think I will be Bye.